Bird, which is a mini series on PBS. It's based on true events. I've been reading a lot about this lately. Yeah. yeah. And um, so tell everyone the, the premise of the show. Uh, it takes place in the 1980s. I'm a Holocaust survivor who adopted a daughter when uh, in the 1960s during a time period called the 60s Scoop. That's how we call it now. Um, where the Canadian government had stolen about 50,000 indigenous children from their families and adopted them out without vetting uh, with basically a Sears catalog of kids and told the adoptive parents that these children were abandoned but they were actually taken. Mm. Um, so a lot of, there was a lot of abuse within that system. There were, especially for boys, they were adopted by families who needed farmhands, you know, yeah. is really just a really hideous experiment. Um, and in this story, um, my daughter, who I loved, uh, is now 20 some, 25 years old. She's engaged to be married, and she cannot move a step further until she discovers her indigenous family. You, you got to work with um, a lot of indigenous actors it was and filmmakers. How mostly, was that? Mostly yeah. indigenous. Uh, the, the creator of the show, not the creator, the showrunner, yeah. uh, Jennifer Bedensky, is actually uh, half, uh, half her family are Holocaust survivors and half her family are residential school survivors. Wow. So she came to it very honestly. Um, the cast and crew were primarily indigenous, and, it, and we shot on a few uh, different reservations in Manitoba, and uh, I, I was so honored to be asked to participate and to be part of the storytelling, and you know, it's about trauma, it's about shared trauma, it's, you know, a Holocaust survivor and, and the indigenous survivors kind of learning to speak each other's language of trauma, which I think is very important right now to right talk Right now, it's really, really important, and I'm glad you did this. And yeah. thank you for coming to talk to us today. Yeah. Really, really appreciate it.